Welcome back to Trends and Friends, y'all. I am here with Sam, and she's actually a Texas Tech student, but she is working with K9 Companions to help Little Raider out here. So <laughs> thank you so much for joining us Absolutely. Today. Thank you for having us. So talk to me a little bit about what K9 Companions is and kind of what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. So K9 Companions is a nonprofit organization. They're based out of California, and I am a volunteer puppy raiser. So I got Raider at the age of seven and a half weeks old, and I am training him in 30 commands as well as socializing him as much as I possibly can. He comes to class with me, we go on a bunch of outings, we introduce him to crazy things like buses, he can even fly with me once he's old enough. And I get him all ready for these people. And the awesome thing about Canine Companions is after he's finished with me, he goes to professional training where he learns specific commands such as opening and closing doors, retrieving items, turning on and off light switches. And he does all those really cool things and then Canine Companions pairs him with an individual with disabilities free of charge, which is so amazing. And so Canine Companions strives to be the organization that's going to provide these guys to the qualified applicants free of charge. It's a really good program, kind of taking them through all the steps that they need to be. Mm -hmm. So how far along is Raider now? So today is actually his six month old birthday. So he is six months. So I've had him since March and he has about a year left with me. So he turns in approximately next August to professional training so he today was actually his first day at classes and he did so good he just kind of laid around like a little lazy butt but he's so cute <laughs> everyone loved him um, but he knows several different commands he's gotten so much socialization I have a crazy lifestyle crazy style so he's gotten all the crazy things and he's doing really awesome and I'm really excited for his future. Well, happy birthday to you, Raider. That's a big, that's a big step in you. Well, yeah. your six month little birthday. So how um, long have you been doing this? Is this the first time you've done this? Yeah, actually, so he is my first puppy that I've raised for Canine Companions. I got involved with the organization here at Tech. So we have different college clubs and community raisers all over the states. And here at Texas Tech, we have yellow caped Raiders. I am actually the student organization rep for the organization on campus, so I help educate the campus and everybody out here and I also just get us involved with everything as much as possible but I got involved probably last December and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing <laughs> and at first I was like oh I'll just like be a puppy sitter and a general volunteer and as soon as I started working with the dogs I absolutely fell in love with it and I fell in love with the idea of doing something for somebody else yeah. being very selfless about it and so it was like January and I was like I want a puppy. I want to raise a puppy myself. <laughs> so I got on the list end of January for a puppy. And then I got a call um, in March and they were like, hey, are you ready for a puppy? And I was like, of course I am. <laughs> Bring me the puppy. That's so exciting. Well, I had a friend that did something like this in high school. So how, and kind of seeing the process of it and then seeing mm -hmm. you know the puppy go with his owner. What is that going to mean to you to finally kind of see those final steps? Yeah, so the really awesome thing and the cool thing about the organization is sometimes you do get to stay in contact with the graduates once they receive your dog but here in Lubbock we actually have several different graduate teams so we have several graduate active service dogs here in Lubbock and so I do get to see those guys every once in a while they help out the college club all the time and we get to see Pablo he's one of my favorites he is for Chelsea and he does so much for her and it just warms my heart knowing that he makes her life so much easier and when I get to see that stuff I'm just like oh my god he's gonna be so good for somebody he's gonna help them out and make them like they're gonna be happy and they're gonna be able to do things they couldn't do before and so obviously like would I want to keep him as a pet forever of course he's such a sweet boy he loves to cuddle he's amazing but getting to see that he's gonna help somebody is so rewarding and just seeing how much it changes people's lives is just absolutely the best thing ever you're taking those steps to kind of help impact someone else's life, which is really neat to mm -hmm. kind of see. So for people that may, you know, not know about Canine Companions and want to get involved, what can you tell them? Yeah, absolutely. So you can go to canine.org and on there you'll find all the information, whether you want to apply to be a raiser, if you want to be a general volunteer, or even if you are somebody who's searching for a service dog, you can find all the application information on canine.org. We have several different kind of uh, service dogs. We have our general service dogs for mobility and such like that. We have our hearing dogs, so people who are hard of hearing, they are alerting to sounds and helping out that way. We have our facility dogs. They work in occupational therapy, courtrooms, stuff like that. Be like emotional sport, but also like in physical therapy, they'll play tug with people who are regaining balance. And then we have our veterans initiative program here and 
it's for veterans with PTSD, and these guys do crazy things for them, like anxiety control, nightmare interruption, stuff like that. So you can find all that information at canine.org, and if you want to get involved here in Lubbock, we do have community raisers in the West Texas chapter, and then if you are a student on campus, feel free to reach out to us at Yellow Caped Raiders, and we'll be more than happy to get you involved, whether it's puppy sitting, being just a general volunteer, or if you're actually interested in raising a puppy, we'll absolutely get you started in the right direction. Well, it's exciting. There's a lot of different opportunities mm -hmm. for people to kind of get involved. Yes. Well, is there anything else that you think is important that you want people to know? I just think it's really important that these guys, like, they are a pet at the beginning mm -hmm. and they still are a dog and it's just really interesting to see the whole process start to finish. We've had several dogs come through our program that have gone on and graduated and they're helping people and so getting to see that whole process is just so incredible and it's just even just getting out there and educating people about disabilities and disability etiquette and service dogs in general you see people who bring their pet dogs into places that aren't like pet friendly stores and that causes issues for people with service dogs because they it could be dangerous for them or they just will be denied access because people will think they're fake. And so that's just something we strive for as well as providing these dogs is to educate the public on disabilities and proper um, proper places to take your dogs. Like, of course, take your pets to PetSmart and stuff, but don't bring them to the grocery store. Reserve that for these guys with, for the service dogs. All right, perfect. Like, don't take those benefits away from exactly. people that need it with service dogs. All right, well, thank you so much for Absolutely. talking Absolutely, thank you so much for having us. Yes, of course. Well, thank you, Raider. Oh, cool. <laughs> and if you guys want to get involved, we will have their website linked on our website at everythinglympic.com, so be sure to check that out. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Trends and Friends.